Alrighty, episode two. The first one. Yeah, that's that instant classic. But it's very easy to have a solid start and then for it to just fall apart. So this one is the test. This is the one where we're like, all right, is this going to be a good show or not? Apparently it is, and I have no reason not to believe that. This one is an hour long instead. It's not an hour and, I guess, an hour and a half like the last one. Which is fine, you know, it, it takes as long as it takes. So, without further ado. All right, flashback. Ooh, Jakarta. They brought this up in the last episode. Maybe this is like where, how it started. Where it started. Right, flower. I had a theory about how it started. Or rather why Joel and Sarah didn't get infected. They ran out of pancakes. There is no medicine. There is no vaccine, Jesus. Well. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> That's the fucking scientist saying it. Wow, she's... <laughs> she understands the fucking seriousness of it. Damn. I love shit like that. I love that. I hope every episode has a little... A little flashback scene. Just developing on how it started and how it spread. That was great. hints of the game music in the background. I love that. Oh, oh the giraffe. Oh shit. <laughs> I really hope they do the giraffe scene. Oh, Jesus. I hope they do that. <laughs> God. <laughs> the sets. The sets are Spot on. You ever stay in a place like this? <laughs> this is. This is. This is. Good there? Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a mess, so I'm gonna need a few minutes. This is textbook on how to turn like gameplay from a game like The Last of Us into something for the screen. Insane. Oh jeez, they're all alive. Oh fuck. Oh the sun, yeah that's right, they're a bit They're connected. Mm -hmm. I think this also goes underground. Long fibers like wires, some of them stretching over a mile. If you stick with a patch of cool sex in one place, then you can wait a dozen infected from somewhere else. Now they know where you are, now they come. Um, okay, alright. Being ripped apart. That's you different. Understand? It's important. I think. I'm trying to keep you alive. That's kind of, that's kind of cool, actually. I, I, I didn't realize they did that in the game. No. So they can't touch any of it. Well, there's a way across from the top floor. That's a new challenge, isn't it? Okay. Awesome. okay, so it dies after a while. Bone dry. Not quite. Fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, they're gonna do the clickers. When I play this game, I had like a surround thing set up for the clickers. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I know this room very well. Died many a time in this room. There now. Oh. oh, 
no. <laughs> Come on, find a glass bottle or something. Or a brick. <laughs> oh shit, no. <laughs> uh. Of course, it makes sense. He's, he's being careful with his, uh, Shit. He's been careful with his bullets. Oh, it, it's <laughs> God, look, he's checking his bullets. Oh. This is so bang on. Oh, I suppose I can't really, can I? Yeah, it makes sense actually because the front of their face is all is all uh, it's like it's like armored. Damn man, the clickers are fucking s perfect. Ah, oh, the plank yeah, of wood. That looks scary. That was scary. This is wood. Ah. Just wait there. Give us a minute. I've never seen a game before that replicates the look and feel of the original so well. Like this, this, this is insane. That's probably more. That's two episodes right? now. They've absolutely nailed so everything about how it looks and how it, it. plays out. Point. Jury's still out. But man, they can't do anything about you. Oh. Come on, let's get this report. Jeez, I'm nearly gonna cry. This is so fucking good. <laughs> to go out. Oh, that's so harsh. Come on, come on, try again, try again. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Yes. Good. Do it too dirty anyway. Yeah. This shit's good. This shit is very good. Damn, that was some good shit. As someone who considers the game one of the best narratives ever made, as a bit of a fan of the game, I am shocked at how well this show is doing, with recreating moments from the game, and I'm equally as shocked at how much I'm loving the things that they've changed. First and foremost, what a brilliant flashback. I hope every episode opens up with something like this. The last one left such a feeling of dread. You're like, wow, everyone is fucked if this happens. And again this week, when the scientist of all people is like, nah, just, just bomb the shit out of all of us, we're, we're all fucked. You're like, wow. This is happening and everyone is fucked. I have never seen an adaptation recreate its source material like this. The sets, locations, the presentation of the show is perfect. Some of the shots and set pieces are practically lifted from the game. But it goes beyond that. They recreate the feel of the game just as well. Like when they go into this submerged section or when Joel is boosting up Tess to try and find a way around some obstacles. Just little things like that are the core of The Last of Us. And the clickers. This was something I was kind of expecting them to do well and I definitely wasn't disappointed. But again, they went above and beyond going as far as recreating how they move. Craig Mazin must have been stuck at that part of the game for quite a while. You know, he knows it a little too well. I love that the show knows what moments to recreate, even including a few Easter eggs here and there. Some of the key moments as well, like, 
that scene of them looking out towards the sunset, going as far as to use the same music. Oh, it is, it is so refreshing to have showrunners or filmmakers who actually know their source material. I mean, granted, Neil Druckmann obviously knows his game, but it's like this perfect synergy with Mazin, who clearly knows now how to make good TV. It's like the two are working in tandem, just creating this perfect storm, and we're just blessed with the results. But you know the business, and I know the chemistry. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. As a pretty big fan, I would have never thought that I'd be this happy with the changes that they've made. Like, the tendrils? Fantastic. I love that. And now in this episode, they've established that there's this mental link between all of them. I actually really like that. It actually makes quite a bit of sense that there's this mental connection between them all. Plus, it helps differentiate them from the standard zombies. Like, if you think about it, these, these things are literally human mushrooms. Like, they're vessels for a fungus. I don't think this was in the game either. It's a very welcome change. And I can see how it's going to create more challenges as the journey goes on. This was also a great episode for character growth. Joel and Ellie are really, for lack of a better term, growing into themselves. I can feel more of the doubts that I had about Bella Ramsey just fading away. I'm really liking her so far. The dynamic between her and Joel is definitely there. And they're not rushing either, you know. It's not like they're best buddies or anything just yet. They are both right where they need to be at this stage of the story. Like, I was, I was watching this scene here and all I was thinking was... This is, this is it, this is Joel and Ellie. Here they are. Tess had her send off as well. I'm glad they didn't do her too dirty at least. One moment from the game that always, I guess, stood out to me was this. Give me your arm. This was three weeks. I was bitten an hour ago and it's already worse. This is fucking real, Joel. Her final scene was good in the show, but I do think it could have done with a little more energy. But honestly, that's that's literally so minor compared to the rest of the episode. I don't even know why I mentioned it. A lot of people say that like the first time you get something this right, it's down to luck. Or it's even an accident that it's this good. Because lightning doesn't strike twice. It's not until what comes after is when you can say, all right, okay, this is more than just an accident. This is actually good by design. And that's what this episode seems to confirm. I fucking loved it. I need more. 